Hey ladies, I had a few people ask questions about trimming down. Should I trim them with something special? Do I need a special kind of scissors? Uh, no, you don't. The special kind of scissors that you need are sharp ones. So uh, whatever is sharp and works will work on jams. And that's the great thing about jams is you can use all of those little jams that are in between sizes that you don't normally use and trim them down and make them usable. It's also a great tool for taking these new Disney collection by Jamberry wraps that aren't in junior sizes yet and creating junior sizes. Most of those wraps lend themselves beautifully to that, especially uh, Color Me Mini, uh, Aurora's Castle works really great because they have tiny designs or designs that you can kind of work around. Some of the designs won't work as well, but you can put three uh, Disney Collection by Jamberry wraps on your little ones and use plain wraps for the accent fingers or even polish. Don't like to say that word, but you can use those. Okay, I'm going to show you how to trim down a wrap fairly easily. Okay, this is a, a little wrap right here. And I had someone tell me that their cuticle shaped differently or for some reason they need to trim the cuticle. They don't fit perfect. That is fine. All you're going to do is take any pair of scissors. These work for me because they're sharp. Uh, you can use cuticle trimmers, but they've got to be sharp and the inexpensive ones get dull very quickly and they'll just chew the vinyl. So all you have to do to trim a wrap basically is just start cutting. A lot of people have a wrap like those two or three extra ones that are left in a half sheet or sheet that they feel like they just can't use. All you have to do is trim that wrap. And I use these big scissors because you can go right down the wrap like this in one cut which is very nice. And if you're trimming these, I'm going to show you, you don't want, you do not want to trim just one side. Okay. You want to trim both sides, even if it's just the tiniest sliver that you're taking off. And the reason is, um, if you trim just one side, you're going to have to, your arc's going to be kind of lopsided. Okay. And you do have to tip the edges here. That's what I call it. Tipping the edges. So to tip the edge, all you do is take your scissors and very gently take that edge off and kind of blend it into the curve. Um, less is more. You can always take off more. Uh, we tend to take off too much when we're tipping that edge. Um, so I'm just going to, I know that you can't see what I'm trimming here, but I'm just really basically taking that little side down as tiny as I can. Now, cuticle scissors or smaller scissors, sewing scissors, embroidery scissors, of course, you don't want to use those, they say, if it's not on fabric. will give you um, a little bit more agility when you're trimming these. It'll be a little bit easier for you. See? Came off perfect. Okay, another trick is to take one of these, especially for little ones, and cut it right down the middle. Or cut it slightly off center. This would be a case where you would, if um, you didn't need one this tiny, you would want to take it just slightly off center and it'll look like this, but you're going to tip off those little corners, like I like to call it, and have it look like this. It's perfect. And this is what I would do with the Disney Collection by Jamberry. Um, this one is so tiny, it would probably fit a two-year-old, and that was just cutting it in half. Okay, and that was about, um, I think it was like the third or fourth wrap up. So that works fantastic. Another trick that I have is, if you can see my thumbnail here, it's flat. My cuticle's flat with this thumbnail. And so I have a lot of empty space here when I don't alter the jam. So I just take a regular jam, and I use the third one down from the largest, and I cut not quite up here where the arc starts but I'll take off the edge like that I'll flatten it out now it looks a little weird like that so I'm gonna have to round this little tip you tip the edge just ever so slightly okay and I've already done that twice over here so you can see I'm sorry I'm having trouble finding the camera and look how nicely 
that fits my particular nail. I just know that mine are flat, and that's just how it works. See? It, it literally is a perfect, perfect fit for me. Covers everything, but it fits right against that cuticle so that I don't have any problems with it. Anyway, that's the great thing about jams is you can trim them. Keep them on the vinyl when you're trimming. It will make it a little more difficult to get a hold, but use your orange stick to get up under there. But trimming jams is easy, and it's a great way to make better use of the jams that you have left over or to fit your jams to your own fingers. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, remember, it doesn't require a special type of scissors. They just need to be sharp. That's the most important part. Leave it on the vinyl backing while you're trimming, and less is more. So I hope that was helpful.